Hey guys, welcome to your first Python Kiwi game tutorial. In this tutorial series, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Python GUI framework Kiwi. I'm going to be teaching you how to use that framework to create games. Let's go ahead and get started. The editor that I'm going to be using is Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to change the language mode to Python. I'm going to save this file on my desktop. I'll create a folder for all the files for this game. I'll call this folder Kiwi Game. And inside there, I will place this file, main.py. OK. So first, let's get a basic Kiwi uh, application up and running. Um, so the way that you do that is you basically create your own class that inherits from a, the app class. And then you, uh, you define a build method. You make that build method return a root widget. And then you create an instance of your app class and you call run. It might be easier for me to just show you. So from kv.app import app. And now define our own app class that inherits from app. Define a build method that just returns a root widget. So here we'll, the widget that will return I guess it's just a widget that does nothing, it's just a black screen. So from tv.uix, all the user interface elements, so all the widgets and all of their subclasses are inside the tv.uix uh, package. So we're going to get from that menu import widget. We're going to just return a widget. All right, now. We're just going to define our main here. We'll create an instance of our app, and we're going to call the run method. This starts the event handling and rendering loop. So let's go ahead and run this. And here's what it looks like, just a blank app. So now that we got a blank app running, let's uh, do the first thing that you need to do in order to create a game. In order to create a game, you need to be able to draw stuff. You need to be able to render. Kiwi lets you render on any widget. Uh, now remember that Kiwi is a GUI framework. Widget is like the base class for all the GUI elements. There's uh, more specialized things like buttons, labels, etc. We don't need all of that because we're going to draw our own stuff. So we're just going to use this base class, this widget, and then we're going to draw on it. How do you draw on them? Well, you basically use the canvas attribute of the widget, and you give the canvas drawing instructions. These drawing instructions have a bunch of parameters, and you can change these parameters later. And every frame, uh, basically, when the Kiwi framework is rendering your widget, it executes all of your drawing instructions. So if in a subsequent frame you change the position or the color of these instructions, then that will be updated. Again, it's probably easier if I show you. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. So let's create our own widget now. Uh, we'll just call it, let's see, game widget. It inherits from widget, so it is a widget. And let's first of all overwrite the init method. Okay, quick note here. Anytime you're inheriting from uh, like the Kiwi classes, so anytime you're subclassing a Kiwi class and you're overwriting the init method, the init method should take uh, keyword arguments and then make sure that you call super uh, to initialize the base classes in it method passing in the keyword arguments again let me show you so here i'm going to do and i'm going to pass in those keyword arguments okay there we go now let's uh make sure that our app instead of just returning a regular widget it returns one of our game widget because our game widget will have stuff drawing in it all right so how do you draw? Well, you use the canvas context. So you do with um, self.canvas. 
since our game widget is a widget, all widgets have a canvas, what are we going to do? We're going to give it a bunch of instructions. Uh, all we're going to do is uh, give it a draw a rectangle instruction. So from tv.graphics, all the instructions are in this module. Import rectangle. And now we will draw a rectangle. So we have two um, keyword arguments, position and size. They're both a tuple of two elements. So for the position, we'll put at 0, 0. For the size, we will make it 100, 100. So this drawing instruction will tell our widget to draw a rectangle at position 0, 0 with size 100 by 100. So let's go ahead and run this and see if we get a rectangle. Maybe the color is not set. We might not get anything. Oh yeah, we do. The default color is white. There we go. So that is how you get a rectangle up and running. That is it for the first tutorial. I know it was nice and short and sweet. That was intentional. In the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and try to move this rectangle. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, drawing a plainly colored rectangle isn't very exciting. Usually when you're developing games, you want to draw an image. So let me show you really quickly how to do that. It's very easy. Uh, I'm just going to create some test image here using Microsoft Paint. There we go. Nice smiley face. Save it inside uh, our Kiwi game folder and we will call it player.png. Okay, so how do we draw that player instead of this white plain rectangle? Well, the rectangle drawing instruction, it takes an additional argument called source. And we're just gonna point that to our player.png file. Now it should draw that image instead of just a plain white rectangle. Let's confirm. There we go. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird looking picture, but anyways, it drew it. Uh, it's as easy as that. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.